Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. In current lecture of classical mechanics, we will discuss about Rutherford scattering formula. We have already discussed about impact parameter in our earlier lecture and the link of that lecture is given in description box. Now, Rutherford scattering formula. So, Rutherford scattering and this scattering is also known as alpha particle scattering. So, Rutherford scattering formula. The impact parameter in terms of scattering angle is B equal to K by 2 cot theta by 2 and this theta is our scattering angle or 2B upon K equal to cot theta by 2 this formula we have already discussed in our last lecture the value of a scattering angle theta depends on the impact parameter B the number of molecules in unit volume of target nuclei thickness of target since here K equal to twice Z1 Z2 E square upon M V square here E is the charge of electron m mass of alpha particle v velocity of alpha particle z1 is the atomic number of nuclei and z2 is the atomic number of alpha particle now 2b upon k equal to cot theta by 2 here we have target and this is area this is impact parameter B. So B is the impact parameter. So area around the target is pi B square. Now alpha particle is moving towards nucleus. These are the direction of alpha particle. And after scattering from this target, alpha particle either move in this direction, in this direction, in this direction. And if it move exactly towards the nucleus, then it rebounds or it have the scattering angle 180 degree. So this is the direction of alpha particle initially and after scattering from the nucleus this will be the direction of alpha particle. According to this equation, which equation? This one. All those alpha particle which incident towards the target nuclei between 0 and B value will have a scattering angle theta or more than theta. So all those alpha particle which incident towards nuclei between 0 and B. 0 means alpha particle move exactly towards the nucleus and B is this distance. So the scattering angle of alpha particle will be theta or more than theta. So all those particles which incident in pi b square area around the nucleus will have a scattering angle theta or more than theta. Here sigma equal to pi b square is the area of cross section. So this area of cross section is pi b square and it is represented by sigma. If a small n is the number of molecules per unit volume in the target of thickness T then the number of molecules per unit area will be NT because N is the number of molecules per unit volume and if we multiply it with thickness then N upon volume into thickness so volume is area into thickness so thickness thickness will be cancelled out so number of molecules per unit area will be NT If sigma, area of cross section of mutual reaction per molecule and number of molecules per unit area is nt. So if we multiply it with area that is sigma, then we have the total number of molecules. So total number of molecules will be f equal to nt sigma. And since sigma equal to pi b square, so if we replace this sigma with pi b square, 
then f equal to n t pi b square. Now f equal to n t pi b square. Here f represents the probability of the number of alpha particles scattered at angle theta or greater than theta. Since 2b upon k equal to cot theta by 2, so we replace this b with k by 2 cot theta by 2. So f equal to n t pi k by 2 cot theta by 2 whole square or f equal to 1 upon 4 pi k square n t cot square theta by 2. On differentiating with respect to theta. Now if we differentiate this with respect to theta then df equal to 1 upon 4 pi k square nt. So this is constant. Now differential of cot square theta by 2. So 2 cot theta by 2 and differential of cot is minus cosec square theta by 2 and differential of theta by 2 is 1 by 2 d theta. So df equal to 1 upon 4 pi k square nt into 2 cot theta by 2 into minus cosec square theta by 2 into 1 by 2 d theta. Now this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out. So df equal to minus 1 by 4 pi k square nt cot theta by 2 cosec square theta by 2 d theta. And what is mean by this negative sign? This negative sign shows that the value of f decreases with increasing theta. So as we increase the value of theta, the value of f decreases. Now df is this one. It gives the probability of scattering an alpha particle between angle theta and theta plus d theta. So the probability of finding the alpha particle between scattering angle theta and theta plus d theta is given by this formula. Now this is our diagram. Here we have gold foil, alpha particle incident from here and after scattering from gold foil it move in all possible direction. So this is the direction having scattering angle theta and this is the direction having scattering angle theta plus d theta. It means this angle is d theta. Now the area of ring between theta and theta plus d theta. So we want to find the area of this ring means the area of shaded portion of ring. Since this is r, so this will be r cos theta and this is r sin theta. So radius of ring is r sin theta and this angle is d theta. So the thickness of ring can be find by angle equal to arc upon radius. So angle equal to arc upon radius and angle is d theta is equal to arc upon radius. Radius means r. So arc equal to r d theta and arc means this thickness. So thickness of ring is r d theta. Now area of ring is circumference into thickness. So circumference of ring having radius r sin theta is 2 pi r sin theta because circumference of ring is 2 pi r and here radius is r sin theta. So circumference is 2 pi r sin theta and thickness is r d theta. So area d is equal to 2 pi r sin theta into r d theta and this is equal to 2 pi r square sin theta d theta. Thus, only those particles will be present in the ring whose scattering angle will lie between theta and theta plus d theta. So only those particles will present in ring which scatter in this region. So whose scattering angle lie between theta and theta plus d theta. Let n theta be the number of alpha particle which reaches in unit area of the screen. So the total number of alpha particle in ds area. So we just multiply this n theta with ds. 
So n theta into ds and ds equal to 2 pi r square sin theta d theta. So the total number of alpha particle in ds area will be n theta into 2 pi r square sin theta d theta. So we replace this ds with this one. If n naught is the total number of incident particle, then the number of particles is scattered between theta and theta plus d theta region is n naught into df because this is the probability of finding the alpha particle which is scattered between angle theta and theta plus d theta. So this gives the number of particles is scattered between angle theta and theta plus d theta region and the number of alpha particles is scattered between theta and theta plus d theta region is n theta ds and this will be n theta 2 pi r square sin theta d theta and this also provide the number of alpha particle is scattered between angle theta and theta plus d theta so these two value will be same so n naught df equal to n theta into 2 pi r square sin theta d theta or n theta equal to n naught df upon 2 pi r square sin theta d theta so we transfer this value from here to here so n theta is this one since df is this one so we replace this df with this one and this negative sign only shows that as the value of theta increases the value of f decreases so we ignore this negative sign here so n theta equal to n naught upon 2 pi r square sin theta d theta as it is and df is replaced with this one so 1 upon 4 pi k square n t cot theta by 2 cosec square theta by 2 d theta now what is n theta n theta equal to n naught n t k square so n naught n t k square and this pi and this pi will be cancelled out so 2 into r square into 4 is 8 r square and here cot theta by 2 cot theta by 2 will be cos theta by 2 upon sin theta by 2 cosec square theta by 2 as it is and this d theta is cancelled with this d theta now what is sin theta sin theta is 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 now 1 cos theta by 2 and this cos theta by 2 cancel out so n theta equal to n naught n t k square upon 8 r square into 2 that is 16 r square here we have cos square theta by 2 and denominator sin theta by 2 into sin theta by 2 that is sin square theta by 2 so if we transfer this sin square theta by 2 here then this will be cosec raised to 4 theta by 2 so n theta equal to n naught n t k square upon 16 r square cosec raised to 4 theta by 2 since k equal to twice z1 z2 e square upon m v square and this is the value in terms of cgs unit if we write k in terms of si unit then k equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught twice z1 z2 e square upon m v square so we just put here 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught extra so we replace this k with this one so n theta equal to n naught n t upon 16 r square twice z1 z2 e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught m v square whole square cosec raised to 4 theta by 2 if kinetic energy t equal to half m v square so this 2 upon m v square will be replaced with 1 upon t so n theta equal to n naught n t upon 16 r square z1 z2 e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught t whole square cosec raised to 4 theta by 2 and this is our Rutherford scattering formula now here we end our session in today's session we have discussed about Rutherford scattering formula now goodbye